Just the facts. It's what we try to bring you with our KSAT Q and A uh, every night, Monday through Friday, and we are pleased most Wednesdays. I think probably every Wednesday so far to be joined by San Antonio Mayor Ron Nuremberg right after he gets done with his afternoon uh, coronavirus briefing. Mr. Mayor, thank you for joining us. I want to talk about the formal process that you have begun to review the policy of the San Antonio Police Department and the city when it comes to officer worn body camera footage. Why did you think that was an important thing to do? Well, we uh, now have every police officer uh, out body camera, and those have been an incredible innovation for police departments all across the country. In San Antonio, it's reduced the number of complaints against officers dramatically since they've been instituted. One thing that hasn't changed, uh, or, or one thing that hasn't been uh, really delved into is a policy related to when footage is released. But as you've seen over the last year, uh, there are different expectations about when footage can be released. There's different uh, statutes with re that govern when they can be released. And then there's, of course, um, investigations that depend on uh, footage being released at the right time appropriately. So we want to put together a policy that's transparent so that the public um, and our community in general can uh, have a proper set of expectations and, and know when footage is going to be released in, in these different circumstances. We've been showing images of the body cam video that was released after the arrest of Matthias Ometu. He was the man mm -hmm. SAPD arrested. They said he matched the description of the suspect they were looking for. Turns out he was not the guy. Uh, there right. were two hours of body cam footage released uh, that yeah. really showed the full picture of what transpired there. You are, were telling us that you believe this review you're requesting is not anti-police in any way, uh, but this is a, a review you would like to see for those policies and also the fact that we pay for body cameras. This is something uh, yeah. that the taxpayer is paying for, correct? No, absolutely. And, and it's in the public interest for facts to come out. And uh, oftentimes, um, you know, the facts support. Uh, and, and in fact, I would say probably most times facts support um, the, the actions of, of officers. Um, but, you know, again, it's uh, the the issues where there's um, clearly uh, concern from the community and there's uh, a need for facts to be revealed. The, the best way to do that is to provide for body camera footage to be released. Now, there are different circumstances, though, in statutes that govern that process. There's a key difference between the footage that was released with the Ometu case uh, and this one, and, and that is. Uh, in the Ometu case, there was no investigation uh, underway. This is an active criminal investigation, so state statute prevents uh, that footage from being released immediately. Uh, but when that investigation is over, I'd like for it to be released, because I think it's in the best interest of the public to, to view that themselves. And we should point out that investigation you're referring to is the shooting death of Daryl Zamalt, which we have covered. SAPD uh, shot and killed him when serving warrants yesterday. Yeah, we're going to take a That's quick right. break. We'll be right back with Mayor Nuremberg. We're back with San Antonio Mayor Ron Nuremberg for our live KSAT Q&A. Uh, Mr. Mayor, there's something that you said at the end there that I want to clarify. You said that the state law says that they may not, that they're not allowed to release body cam footage during an ongoing investigation. But the state law actually says they may withhold it while the investigation is ongoing. And there are cities like Arlington and Fort Worth that have released video within days of officer uh, involved shootings. So what's yeah. the I mean, I, what's the clarification right. there during during an active criminal investigation, which is what this is, state law prevents the release of body cam footage unless there's an extraordinary public safety uh, interest. And that is determined by the police chief. Um, so. At this point, state law is compelling uh, the the, the uh, footage to be within the investigation. But we do want to note that there are major Texas cities that do release body cam footage within a certain timeline. Uh, so right. when you're looking at this review that you've requested, you said earlier you wanted that review to ultimately lead to policies put in place that specify how SAPD should treat 
body camera footage. What specifics do you want to see in a policy, specifically a timeline? Is that something you're interested in seeing? That's exactly right, Myra. So again, uh, my preference is for all the body cam footage to be released. I mean, I think it's in the public's interest. It helps facts to to get out and, and for there not to be any misinterpretations of situations. Um, the, what, what I would like to see out of the policy is a clear set ex of expectations in these different cases about when body camera footage will be released to the public. Uh, when we have those expectations internally and externally, it makes the job of policing as well as um, our, our role in community policing relations a lot, uh, a lot easier and a lot safer. Yeah, and, and, and you, if we go back to the Ametu video, I mean, it, it's, it's long, but if you look at the entire thing, you know, you as a citizen of San Antonio can make up your mind whether, you know, right. and see all angles. And so that's why I think when you're talking about transparency, and state laws and it being at the discretion of the San Antonio police chief. That's where, you know, some things get a little cloudy. I mean, we're dealing with the Bear County Sheriff as well with the right. Damian Daniels video and the fact that he says it won't be released because of the attorney general. So there's a lot of different interpretations out there on what may withhold it while the investigation is ongoing means. That's right. And, and so, you know, and again, the, the case that you just mentioned, uh, with the two hour long footage, uh, a viewer there hopefully would leave that situation knowing how complex that is from both standpoints. Um, but you're absolutely right. Having a clear policy and set expe of expectations, we don't have to, to uh, be navigating this discretion that's involved with the release of, of uh, body camera footage any further. Um, and, and again, people can expect when that's going to be out in a timely manner. And that is what body camera footage is set up to do, is in place to do, exactly. is to give us the full picture and that transparency uh, that people are requesting from law enforcement across this country. Mayor, thanks for being with us. We're going to talk to you again tonight at 1030. Sounds good. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. We'll be right back.